Anna. A girl with bright blue sparkling eyes and a smile that can light up any room. Last night Anna received a single flower from her partner. It wasn't her birthday or the anniversary or even a special occasion. He was making up for last night. He was making up for smashing her head across the wooden floor over and over and over again just for overcooking his steak. <sighs> Domestic violence is defined as the act of violent or aggressive behaviour within the home. But it means more than that. It means broken bones, broken hearts, and most importantly, broken spirits. It's often years of psychological torture and being beaten down to the point you feel like you are nothing. A healthy relationship will never require you to sacrifice your friends, your dreams or your dignity. No one in their right minds would ever enter a relationship head over heels knowing that they would leave disrespected in every single manner possible. And the domestic part doesn't matter. Violence is still violence, regardless of whom it affects. The fact that it happens once or at home to a man or a woman is never a factor deeming it acceptable. It causes scars. Scars with no expiry dates. If you are one of the lucky ones who've never had to endure such violence, then I urge you not to take this for granted. During the COVID-19 pandemic, there has been a 700% increase in calls to domestic violence helplines. Domestic violence victims don't want all the attention in the world. All they want is a friend and a helping hand. And that friend and that helping hand starts with me. And it starts with every single one of you. To those heartless cowards who partake in years of abuse and assault just to feel like they're in control or as some form of toxic masculinity, your time is up. Ladies and gentlemen, their time is up. Now for those of you wondering, after that night, Anna didn't cry any more tears, neither did she try and hide any more scars. That night, she became entirely numb to the pain. That night, that single flower joined with many, many other flowers. On top of her coffin.